Sri Lanka's president and prime minister decided to step down on Saturday following the country's most turbulent day and months of political unrest, during which mobs stormed both politicians' homes and set one of the structures on fire in a fit of wrath over the dire economic situation. After the Speaker of the House of Representatives announced that President Gotabaya Rajapaksa would resign on Wednesday, Prime Minister Ronald Wickramasinghe declared that he would step down once a new administration had been formed. With people finding it difficult to purchase food, fuel, and other needs as a result of the economic collapse, pressure on both men increased. Police had imposed a curfew in an effort to prevent the planned protests, but they later withdrew it after opposition leaders and attorneys criticized the curfew as being unlawful. Rajapaksa's fortified home was overrun by thousands of people who had reached Colombo, the country's capital. Happy crowds were captured on camera using their cell phones while swimming around in the garden pool, lounging on beds, and celebrating. Some people brewed tea, while others issued comments from a conference room requesting that the president and prime minister leave. Although government spokesman Mohan Samaraniye claimed to be unaware of Rajapaksa's whereabouts, it was unclear if the president was present at the time. Later, protesters broke into the prime minister's home and set it on fire, according to Wickramasinghe's office. If he was present when the intrusion occurred was not immediately apparent. Police had earlier used tear gas to disperse the crowds of demonstrators who had assembled to march on the presidential mansion while carrying signs, drumming, and waving flags. Over 30 people were harmed in total during the commotion on Saturday. In a televised announcement, Speaker Mahinda Yapa Abiwardena claimed that Rajapaksa was notified that legislative leaders had chosen to ask him to step down, and the president concurred. To guarantee a smooth transfer of power, Rajapaksa will stay in place for a while, Abi Wardina stated. He requested that I notify the public of his impending departure on Wednesday the 13th in order to ensure a smooth transition of power, according to Abi Wardina. As a result, the speaker said, there is no need for additional unrest in the nation, and I ask everyone to maintain calm for the benefit of the nation to permit a peaceful transition.